So, uh, guys, today we're. I was thinking, like, you know, I do have a thread that's connected to this, and I do want to talk about it. And honestly, yeah, we've got a thread, but like, honestly, this would be better as a podcast format anyway. Um, everyone's talking about it. I've kind of got mixed feelings on it. I haven't spoken to Garbo about it yet. And it's the whole Amazon 40k Henry Cavill movie. Oh wait, you know what? Actually, I do have something. So, um, like, everyone's talking about this with Henry Cavill. <sighs> Let's see what the um, the people that worked on The Witcher had to say about him. Now, of course, this is internet gossip, so take this as you will. Who knows? But I, I thought it was definitely interesting, and there's an awful lot of these rumors, so, you know, eh, Garbu, do you want to go for it? Yeah, I'll read this. Uh, keep in mind, uh, readers and listeners, I have a cold <laughs> because it's negative Aww. six here in Kansas, but <laughs> I have read this before, so... Uh, it's based on Henry Cavill and how he's a he's a Q, he's a QAnon fucking uh, <laughs> the yeah. But it says no, uh, it, he, I recently he, got this I message. I love the way they, they call him an incel. It's like if he, if if Henry Cavill's an incel, it's definitely voluntary. I'm look, just look, putting on we all know Henry Cavill. F- Okay, he's not in yeah. cell. But uh, yeah. I recently got this message, and somebody was like, do you want to know what really went down? And I was like, sure. So let me just read. It says, at the beginning of the show, Henry was good to work with. A lot of unusual demands that made people feel like he wasn't really a team player, but that's not unusual for a big star. Though in TV, it truly usually doesn't happen until the second season. But in season two or three, something shifted, and he became really impossible for Whammon to work with, which is always a big problem, is it? Is it always a big problem? Have you? I'm not, not going to touch on the female actors who cause <laughs> hell for male act for male director. Yeah. I, I mean, um, I, I never watched The Witcher, so I really have nothing to say on this. If I be honest, I watched all The Witcher, so I have a big shit to say on this. Is it good? Is it, it worth well, watching? It is good because Henry Cavill was able to fucking tighten the reins on these fucking bitches. But in yeah. season two, <laughs> two and three, so okay, I go to the, but even worse. Okay, he would try to overrule her and try to get changes made last minute across the board without her knowledge. Which, if you know anything about show running, is completely fucked. The showrunner was to sign off on every minuscule detail down to the buttons on a costume. Female writers and directors were suddenly completely ignored on set, unable to do their jobs. Every department head was complaining. He started making comments. It wasn't a sexual thing, wasn't grabbing anyone or being lewd, was disrespectful and toxic all the same. He's deeply addicted to video games, based, to the point where it was like working with any other addict. He was distracted. He was late. He was obsessive because he was playing The Witcher. <laughs> he was playing I mean, The I- Witcher. Uh, and he was playing the Witcher video games. Like, okay, because he's trying to you know get into this character, and the character got in video yeah. character anyway. And a lot of people think that the misogyny came from the from. G- <laughs> and a lot of people think that the misogyny came from Gamer World. <laughs> yeah. Gamer Gate. Here we Gamer, go again, boys. G- g- gamers nice up. Uh, oh my god. Video How game long ago was that? That was so long ago. <laughs> yeah. That's like oh my god. Video Jesus. game bro language is not how you talk to coworkers and he wouldn't stop. Someone on the show compared it to watching to to Compared to watching get brainwashed by QAnon, like his whole pers- personality shifted. Eventually, it, eventually, his disrespect escalated. Man, my nose is so fucking stuffed. He would rewrite scenes without even alerting the other actors in the scenes until it was time to shoot. He decided that he didn't want any romantic scenes at all. No kissing, no shirtless scenes, femoids raging, etc. Uh, I mean, like, honestly, see if I worked in Hollywood, I, especially this day and age, I'm, yeah, I'm just not dealing with any of them. Like, you know, I, I, no way, no way. So Not after all that yeah. stuff. It's like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, uh, I have to stay at least 10 feet away from all femoids at any given time, you know? So he wanted complete control of storylines, but really had no idea the limitations of TV stories structure budget etc he probably did he has, he's not he's been in movies yeah. for what like last 10 years fuck off person he formed a weird alliance with one with one writer who was also a gamer who probably played <laughs> the witcher who eventually got fired after multiple hr complaints were made by probably angsty mm. fucking danger hairs and after that writer left henry did anything he could to hold the production and cause problems eventually top brass at netflix was tired of him costing them money with delays in hr investigations really he was causing them hr investigation delays i don't think that's the case they there, kiddo. Yeah. And the showrunner was asked to construct a potential exit for him. Netflix reached out to him personally and he was given one final warning and violated that warning with an email he sent to the entire staff right after the meeting. That was it. So, like, I know someone who was a good friend in the, in the writer witching room, like, who, like, <clears throat> who, like, two days after Henry's departure was announced, was announced, told me something. Jeez, people, right. I know. Uh, really similar about the weird alliance between Henry and another male writer who was eventually fired after being inappropriate. I, 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 I doubt it. 
Me Too variety. Yeah, shocking. Yeah. And apparently Henry went to bat after that guy after he was fired, trying to get him rest- yeah, reinstated and threatening to hold up the entire uh-huh. show over it. So, yeah, I believe the rest of this. <coughs> yeah, I, I pretty much buy that. He, he's, uh, he's an <laughs> incel conservative. So all, the, yeah. so all this is is two gamers who know the lore, who know the game, yeah. who are playing these games like, I got to know this the character. They're like, no, no, you guys are doing this shit all fucking wrong. Like, I remember one time, I know one big story was they were going to kill... The showrunner, this stupid fucking woman, who is just, mm. she says, hey, I want to kill off Roach in a funny way. And and, and, and Cavill went, fucking no. And like, like he had a big fight over her and wanted to oh, kill off it's... Roach in, in a funny, like, ironic hee-hee-ha-ha way. Now, I don't know what it is about these female showrunners. They're not all bad. Don't get me wrong. They're not all no, bad. There are good decent, female like... showrunners. But these bad ones like this ironic hee-hee-ha-ha moments where it's supposed to be very, like, emotional instead they want to just like do it in an ironic like twitter way like in, in the new willow yeah. series spoiler alert there's oh, this don't like tell me i don't even want to know about this oh, there's no, this uh, do I, well do i have to know well, please tell me. Please so know. there's this unnamed old male veteran knight who they clown on and make his and, and like i don't know why they thought that a veteran male knight that's his age would be an absolute fucking retard but they 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 they're, they're right, they wrote it that way and he's like you must always stay vigilant and watch out for danger and he's shot with an arrow to the face or some shit and it's like really <laughs> Yeah. Really? Like, it's well, just, they're, they're so fucking stupid, and they can't stand it with someone who actually knows the the materials. Like, no, 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 we're doing it this way. No, and- we, know, we know better than you. Like, you guys just don't get it. Like, you know, like, the thing is, see if they want to do this type of stuff, I'd be okay with it. Just don't have the properties attached to it. Like, make their own thing and do it. You know what I mean? That's well, so the there's thing no, is, there's no reason well, Henry was the Witcher. He was the... Yeah. He says, like, oh, the show. Henry was a showrunner because the whole movie revolves around him. And you can tell when they start pulling back on Henry and trying to focus on these female characters that no one also gives a fuck about. It's called <laughs> The Witcher. You know, and yeah. they focus on The Witcher, who was played by Henry Cavill. It was, a, it was his show. He's like, hey, y'all fucking this up, because Henry, being a being an incel conservative gamer that he is, apparently, probably ground through and played every Witcher game there is, and probably read every book, yeah. and read every, 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 like, actual material source he could to learn this character. He's like, hey, this, this shit's all fucked up. So do you think, now this is the big thing, this is the biggest thing for me, like, with the 40k movie, I've got, I've, there's some things that are going for it that I I think sounds so good. Mm. Sounds that they've got oh so much potential. You know, like he's walked away from Superman. I really like the first Superman movie, by the way, guys. I don't even feel bad. Man of Steel was actually really good. I I've never enjoyed like a Superman movie ever. I don't care. The old ones were trash. Fight me in the comments. But Man of Steel was actually pretty good. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it was horrible. It's too gritty. It's like that was fine. It was alright. And you know what? It would actually would. You know what? If you really wanted to do like a Dragon Ball Z movie. Do it like that. You know what yeah. I mean? I think Man of Steel Well, really, what, what, what we're really seeing mean. is is a pullback of actors going, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. Because actors get tired exactly. of this Big bullshit. Decks. They're like, oh, God. Yeah, I mean, like, you know. Do they want to? Do they really want to be associated with us? If they know it's not going to be good, why why should they be the ones that have to be the face of it? You know what I mean? It's them that are going to get all the blunt of the abuse. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, it, and it is them that has to... You know what I mean? The actors, they have to play the part, and they're just so done for. Now, so this is the biggest thing for me. Will Amazon have learned from the things of power? I think... Um, I, th- I don't think that Amazon... I don't think Amazon's stupid. I don't think it is. I like They couldn't be this big and be this stupid. You well, know, the I, thing I, is, I, I, they, 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 they tried to, like, pander to the Wokies yeah. right, with this shit. And they know... Holy fuck, we lost billions of dollars. Yeah. Now and they're already doing another season. I think they're gonna change shit. I really hope they will. Now like, they're gonna I, have I to. really do think yeah, they don't have a choice. Like please God. What? And this gives me a lot of hope. <coughs> this well, stuff, like you know, because Henley has walked away from oh, yeah, Man of sure. Steel and The Witcher and he, and like, you know, like everyone knows he's big into forty K. The only bit bad thing about him is he's new forty K with custodies, so you know, oh I don't know. Well, well no, no. Gets so, no, 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 no. So it is, he it is no, new hammer. No, 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 no. He played the stuff when he was like, he was like fucking in his teens. He was there during like uh, probably fourth and fifth ed. Yeah, like it's, it, it would be that age group. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't say he's a custody head kind of forty k player. He played it according to his lore behind Cavill. He played yeah. it back in probably fourth and fifth ed, which, yeah. which is when I played it. But regarding to yeah, Amazon... That would make sense. He'd be about a teenager. Yeah, he's about your age, isn't he? Come to think of it. Thanks. 
Uh, well, that's not exactly a bad thing. Is it? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to be compared to Henry Cavill. Just... I feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, like, well, pretty much inadequate toward uh, inadequate because of him. But like, what can be done, you know? Yeah, but uh, the thing is with Cavill, Amazon knows they need a success because they have yeah, lost they so much money. I, and I think you know what the thing is. They wanted they they did this as well with The Witcher. This is from what everyone that I've heard. They wanted to make it like Game of Thrones. Everyone seems to want to be Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? And same with The Lord of the Rings. They everyone that I know that said it. Yeah, they they felt like Game of Thrones. It wasn't Game of Thrones, but it was like they were trying to like put a skin suit on it. You know what I mean? Well, and try to make a game when it's not. And Game of Thrones <coughs> is fine. Like you know, okay, bar the last like, season or whatever. You know that was a problem. Let's not talk about that. But, you see, like, you know, it was a good show for the most part. It was a good show, you know. Well, h- how I look at Hollywood now is they're basically compare it to a game. They're chasing the meta, like, oh, oh this this works, yeah. this works, but they don't understand why well, it works. Yeah. They're just going just going so, to the net list and hoping it pans out when they roll the dice. Problem is, so Hollywood's would it be fucking like, stupid. Uh, would it be like so? Game of Thrones is um, Tau. Fortnite. <laughs> no, it's Battle Royale. So it is right. Battle Royale. Yeah, every, yeah, yeah. And then suddenly every single company's like, oh, we should put, we should get Battle Royale in our game. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Yeah, mm. Battle Royales. And like, what have we seen for the last like what? How long? You know, it's, Battle well, Royale they're, 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 Well, they're slowing down. They are slowing down. Well, because they're all that, failing. You know? Like we're we're, yeah, we're, 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 we're we're watching the chaff fall away from the wheat. Because mm. all these guys, are like, okay, we'll do a battle royale. It's like, okay, this fucking sucks. Because you guys don't understand what makes a battle yeah. royale good. You're failing, and like, I don't know why they made like uh, 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 going back to Lord of the Rings. I don't know why they made like Galadriel such a fucking hateful bitch. Like, uh, just I'm, you know I, what? I'm I'm so happy I never watched it. I bro, still haven't like, watched it, and I'm not going to watch when, it. I am never going to watch it. When you know care. like the previous character and how she's how, she, how, she, how Peter Jackson portrayed her, like, okay, cool, yeah. she's a, a strong willed highly powerful elf and you know and like what about warrior queen badass bitch with a fucking <laughs> sword it's like okay that, that's fine i get that and i was like also she's fucking unlikable and hates men it's like what the fuck is going on here I, like, I always thought like you know that was one of the things i i know i haven't watched it so i don't know you know i am talking out of my hole but just from looking at the actors and whatnot i feel like one thing that to me anyway when it comes to token elves they're very ethereal does that make sense ethereal would be the only word i could use to really describe Bro, them they, they're kind they, of they chose speed. the ugliest they're very... elves in fucking elf history <laughs> like, God damn, yeah only a lot of the one guy fucking hobbits, man. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> hobbits and stuff but you gotta have have that you know sort of wispy sort of not yeah. all together it, like w- well, they need to kind of look lithuanian you, and i can't explain no no, why, no. But they you gotta look finnish you gotta look finnish snow elves ah uh, yeah i suppose i could see that they do need to have that weird sort of angler you know, look <laughs> yeah you know what does that make any weird sense yeah i can already see the, see them garden it's like the like eastern europeans you guys you, you guys aren't that bad all right who else do you want to bully this no we'll, we'll leave that we'll, we'll bully uh Hollywood feed voids, well, what? That's probably the best. So, I don't know if you know this, but we've got a website with lots of models. And whenever I say lots of models, I mean lots of models. We've got models for any setting that you can think of. With humans with biddies, animals that shouldn't have biddies but do have biddies, dwarves and elves with biddies. Look, we've got a lot of smut models. But it doesn't stop there. We really do have models for anything and everything. And to be honest, they look so good. Chef's kiss, so good. But it's not all smart for all you good Christian Minecraft server players. We've got you covered. And we even got the weebs covered too, which is unusual for this channel because we don't <laughs> like weebs. <laughs> yeah, the weebs aren't that bad. Aren't we? We, also- just that bad. <laughs> we also have 5th edition subclasses and adventures, which some of them are free for download. And we sell a physical printed copy of Steel Water as well. And you can request a signed version if that's your thing, where I'll draw a penis on it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hey, if you want you know, us to sign a couple you want, decks, that's we, what you we'll, want. We'll give you decks, okay, guys? That's, that's what anyway, you want. Anyway, if you enjoy what we do here, go ahead and check out the website. It helps us out so, so much. And we don't need to worry about our YouTube overlords striking down another one of our channels. Our website is also now available as an app on Android. Also, and the winner of the daily giveaway is this guy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. 
And to claim the prize, you just send an email to nickbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's get back to the video. Well, <laughs> just, I, I, I don't get how just um, all this money and they're hiring all this talent. And what I like about Cavill is Cavill is garnering um, fan loyalty. Because Cavill, oh, yeah, ca well, Cavill went, you know what? This shit is fucked and you're doing it wrong. And you're going to piss off the fans. And the fans went, oh. <gasps> Our Messiah, you know, when they saw Cavill. Mm -hmm. And Cavill went, you know what? Fuck it. I'm leaving this. Fuck Superman. Fuck The Witcher. I'm doing 40K. Now, here's the thing. If they allow Cavill to shepherd this 40K series, it should be going. And Cavill signs off on it, they will succeed automatically. If Cavill goes, hey, fans, we Gucci. And it is, in fact, Gucci. Yeah. It will be a checkmark oh. success before it even launches. I really just want. You know what the thing is? I just, I just want a good show to watch. You know what I mean? That's, I that's all I really want. I, know. I, just, and I just want. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just tired, and I feel like you know, anytime we do this type of stuff, like I don't, I don't even want to talk about the open game license, <laughs> all that stuff. I don't, I don't even want to talk about that. Like you know, it's like, oh no, Wizard of the Coast fucked up again. Oopsie. Again, again, did Wizard again, the, did, did, did again, they do make oopsie? Oh my god! You know what I mean? And I just feel like, what's the fucking point in complaining about them? We all know what they're like. What's, what's the point? Like you know, the only thing that really gets me with wizards is like the, my biggest complaint is it affects the rest of the hobby as a whole and i really i would like the company to succeed because then i i feel like to me that makes the rest of tabletop games succeed at the same time it's the same thing with uh, games workshop when games workshops doing bad pretty much uh, across the board when it comes to war games they're also not doing too good either you know what i mean it's like there's a little the, the, the companies are just so big in such a small pond you know a very it's small hard pond to just like now you just can't ignore them the thing is is if games workshop and amazon had a brain in that fucking hole they call a head <laughs> they would well, i know i know how about this can we not get matt ward on show? I, I, know, I think I matt know. ward would be a good i think matt ward would be the best writer that you could possibly have <laughs> can we have matt, uh, matt would be so good he'd be my top pick well yeah he, he has to do everything they should just find people who are successful in the 40k yeah, genre just gonna, hey yeah just go write a thing or something and let cavill yeah. look over I like that. I don't like that. I like that. Let Cavill shepherd yeah. the series because Cavill will carry it. Cavill commands yeah. the respect of the people who watch this shit. When Cavill went, I hey, don't watch this shit. The he, Witcher fucking died. Like, he he does look believable to me. Like, as a space marine, you know what I mean? I think he's got the look pretty much. You know what I mean? He's like, definitely he's a fucking ultramarine. He, he, he has that, like, yeah. prim, prissy Superman look. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, he does, I he come does, from Ultramar. Does. Yeah, you know who I I would love to see as a I always want. Do you know Mark Strong? I would love to see him as like a play Mark, but well, I can't tell you which one. Well, but he's got his voice is. Loud, you, know? you you mentioned uh, Space Marines. What they should do is not have Space Marines come in at yeah. all until the second series. Oh, okay. it should be all Imperial Guard. So I'll tell you my idea. Right, we'll finish this up. Um, we'll we'll go into an idea. So this is my idea. This is my proposal for a 40k, not a movie, but a TV show. So what my one would be would kind of be okay. Imagine first episode. The first episode is everything together. It's everything's going on. Say it's like the fighting over a planet or whatever, and there's all different perspectives from all over the place. Or maybe that could be at the end. I'm not sure. You could play about with this, but I really want the idea of um, like each episode to be focused on like one episode is guardsmen one episode is sisters of battle one episode is all about orcs you know what i mean yeah, and it's all like, the, it's all like the same story it would be all like the same story told from their different that would be a production nightmare though it would be it would be but think of it think of it like this <coughs> it would be a great way to introduce normies to the 40k universe you could do it all in one season and you could introduce all the different uh factions within these. you could you could at least introduce like what maybe four um and maybe like two episodes per like faction you know what i mean like you know give <laughs> guardsmen orcs, elder and maybe maybe some space marines maybe you know no no i would be a toss-up well what would you go for what's well, your choice well, what they should do is focus on borrowing as much military hardware as they can and altering <laughs> it so like I'm, I'm, I'm talking like m1113s you know yeah and put these fake turrets on them but make it as 
malleable and as real as they possibly can. Now, wh- oh, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah so be have your chimeras be simply M113s reshaped with steel and welding. It'd be a instant slam dunk. And in in the M113s. They have a hole that you can put a fucking turret on if you wanted to. You, you find a motor yeah. variant. But there's all this hardware they can use. And at the same time, you find a vehicle that's in service that kind of matches the uh, the uh, Lemon Rusk kind of look, and you build a route. You oh, make yeah. a, 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 a fucking Lemon Rusky. But how this show should start is purely Imperial Guard. Right, fighting. Oh yeah, I think guard needs to be. The, I think they should be front and center. I would definitely yeah. agree with that. But either fighting, um, you know, heretic forces or something that can be easily done, so they can smash the fuck out of the series and have it be more real. Because most of the time, Imperial Guard aren't fighting, you know, chaos or. Or like orcs or tyr or tyrannids or, or tau, they're always fighting, you know, heretic fucking uh, like splinter cells, you know, that kind of shit. Yeah. But you, but you have them, and, and you focus on like the hydra platforms and the uh, the weapons teams, and you, and you have Cavill just be a fucking commissar, just call, have him be a fucking uh-huh. commissar. Easy done. He can anyone w- w- with a spine and a pair of lungs can play a fucking commissar, and Cavill has the charisma to properly play a commissar uh, he, i think he could pull it off yeah or you know what actually i got it i got another good one for you can we not just like remake band of brothers bro exactly but, uh, fucking they, they exactly. all die like really quickly. exactly you know what i mean like you, you know what i mean like it's been done before they they know how to do it. like <laughs> what this was like early 2000s like late 90s early 2000s yeah yeah world war ii movies like you know they did that shit all the time it was really oversaturated but you could easily do, like recreate that type of magic oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a just just in just, uh, just sci-fi it up. Sci-fi have, have like a certain squad yeah. of Kasserkin or regular guard or Katachins. Like, and they, they all need to die, though. That's well, the only yeah. thing. Like, I, I, I demand uh, death across the board, you know? And that would be another great thing about this. Like, you know, you could in just so many actors and stuff. You could bring in so many different yeah. people. Because, uh, like, you know, let's be serious. Life's so cheap in 41st century. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And I think most people could get <sighs> on board with that. But what, what, you know? what you do is you start out slow technologically. You have your chimera you have henry cavill the commissar come flying on a valkyrie not not a thunderhawk not a, a, oh, yeah. not a storm raven he flies on, on a fucking beat the shit valkyrie he <coughs> lands and like <laughs> hey commissar here's your fucking company we gotta hold against these fucking her- these fucking heretics you know like basically tra- traitor guardsmen mm. i suppose and what they can yeah. do is they can use this to leverage more sales on the game they just fucking released the uh the uh Oh yeah, that's a great idea. My, my oh, brain, yeah. Uh, yeah, Dark Tide, yeah. Um, Dark Tide, yeah. Is Dark Tide good? I it is good. I, I I enjoy I Dark I Tide. To. I can hop on, do a couple of missions, and I feel satisfied. I need to, I need to, I need to pick it up. So I, I've, it's been one of those ones I've been looking at it for tonight, and it's like, should I get it? No, I don't have the time. Yeah. It's like, no, but I should go get it. No, I don't have the time. It's like, fuck, get pick it up. See, you know see, what, what, I, what I, I wish is they would focus on small platoon tactics, small squad yeah. tactics, if, like. I think I hired me and my dad, and my dad does this kind of shit for movies already. Yeah, we could show Cavill how a squad, you know, bounds and leaps through combat. You can use advancement. You can show how competent the guardsmen can be, because you always see the yeah. guardsmen. I was like, he's like, oh, space marine, yeah. please save my guard, bro, pussy. You know, it's like, oh god <laughs> damn it. But it, it's not that way yeah, at all. Like, yeah, read, read like any book, like, you know, they're always competent. It's just sometimes they need bigger guns for these bigger targets. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm like a pox walker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's from Grand Dark Tights. I know, dude. <clears throat> so, okay. The Viscoffee okay. in my uh, snot is like, come, dude. Jesus Christ. So, okay. I think, uh, honestly, say at this point, what do you guys think? Like, what? I, I, I'm very optimistic about this whole thing. I want it to be good. I, I, I just want it to be good. I've always wanted a 40k movie or TV show. I, I've always wanted this. I, I, it's something that I've thought about for so long. I know, it's right? Kinda, it's been it's been one of those ones I've put off. See, for the last like three years or so, I've been like, you know what? Maybe I don't want that. 
you know, maybe it's like that meme where like we're this close to greatness. You know that fucking meme. You know? <clears throat> yeah, but that's what it feels like, though. But like, it always does feel like that. It feels like <laughs> so many times where I've watched, it, like I've seen it, and it's like, oh mate, this is gonna be so good, and then it turns. It, you know what? You know what? They, what I can see them doing though. Uh. See if it was done by Amazon, or whatever. I think someone would read the gore and be like, oh, these elves are so much cooler. Can we make the can we make the humans more like you know the humans from Avatar? Can we do that? We should totally do that. See, Even though the humans from Avatar <laughs> literally are the humans from 40K. Well, but you know what I mean? Well, the thing is, we, we, we tasted greatness with the Mandalorian series due to oh, yeah, well, competent good, actors, yeah. competent showrunners. Yeah. Not Gender doesn't matter. It's just like, I swear, the female ones are always fucking worse for some fucking reason. If, if these female showrunners can grow a pair of steel ovaries and go, <laughs> you know what? Let's stick to the material just, and do this right and i have you know i, I have faith you, in cavill yeah to make this like, right make the nerds happy like make the nerds happy and everything else will follow well not just, just make the nerds happy but just make a good show yeah. like it's it's and such like, a low honestly, bar it's such a low bar like the and the thing is think of it like this right so at the minute yeah we've got uh, the D D movies not too far away from it's gonna be a out, shit show bro. again gonna, yeah well it's good well you know it's, what? Gonna it's so just gonna woke. be marvel it's, it's gonna be so it's woke. gonna yeah probably well i'm i'm not i'm not i'm gonna lean against it being woke at the minute i'm gonna lean on more just being another marvel movie i don't like you know the thing was like i, I really enjoyed the first guardians of the galaxy i thought that was a good thing. <laughs> it, it was, was a fun yeah. movie you know what i mean it, it like, kind of dragged it, it on after a while did. yeah it did it did like you know and honestly i haven't watched it since like i think it was Endgame. was mm. that the one where thingy died at the end but even then i wasn't like keeping up to speed with them you know what i mean well there's, um, there's, 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 so there's, there's like no point to because like okay let me guess the good guys win right snore yeah <laughs> yeah pretty much it's kind of, see this is the thing like you know so i know like i've got really i don't really care that much for the D movie it's like like if it does well it does well if it does shit it does shit i don't really care for me personally it's just something that exists but with this 40k <sighs> movie i want it to be good and i really want it to be good for games workshop yeah. i want it to i really want to breathe a lot of new life into um, the franchise as a whole. I, I personally, I haven't been really overly happy with New Hammer, if I'll be honest with you, mm. um, since about the like, eighth edition. I haven't been fussed on it. Yeah, you know what I mean. See, I've the, kind of been like the, the, the way I see all this stuff is like it's, like it's like a beautiful loaf of bread, where you know I want to bite yeah. that. It's going to be so crispy and buttery. Oh, it's like a big old loaf of brioche. But over time, you're enjoying your brioche. Like, oh, there's mold on this. Like, what the fuck? And the mold yes. is slowly yes. encroaching like. over the crust. Like, I, I, I can't enjoy my bread now. So much fucking mold here. What we need is <laughs> someone to, to just leave that bread loaf alone. Stop the molding. Stop making things woke or like super yeah, like fe- like fact, like. No. I don't mind female orientated leads. I don't like. F- oh like, no, no. Like no. Furiosa was you, great. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. You know what? Actually, one of my one of my favorite books series. Well, I didn't really find the series wasn't that good, but I did really enjoy the Gold of the Dragon Tattoo. Oh yeah, 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 the, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I liked, I liked, I liked the movie. Um, this is uh, so old Dr. now. Oh, I don't, uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really like the Swedish version. A lot of people shouted at me over that, but I really enjoyed it. And I read, and I went ahead after watched after that came out. I watched it, and then I went ahead and I read the books. And I liked the I liked the first <sighs> book, but the other ones, like the girl who played with fire and the kicked the hornet's nest, were kind of meh. If I'd be honest with you, it wasn't really my forte. But you know what? I mean? Like that's what I'm trying to get at. Like you know, if you just make a fucking good movie, give me something decent to watch. And I don't want to be like you know. You know that, what do you call that fucking meme that everyone uses? You know the guy that was crying over the Star Wars trailer? Oh, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the, the fucking soy you know boy. Soy like, boy. It's so I, beautiful. Is he yeah. fucking crying? But, I, but sometimes consume. I feel like I'm the opposite of that. Consume. I, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm the like the opposite end of the spectrum of that. It's like I might just turn into some grumpy old fucking grognard. That just, that, yeah, I might, I might, if I turned into a grognard, I just shite the kids these days. Well, the thing you know is, well, I mean? no, the good. biggest thing is that we're being told, "Hey, yeah. you're wrong. This movie's great." We all know this movie sucks, dick. The problem yeah, is, it does. when we say, "Hey, this movie sucks," we're told, "No, it rocks." We're like, no, bro, it sucks. No, it's it's amazing, bad. And you're just sexist. That's the well, only and, reason why you don't like. And, it. and when it happens, you go fuck. Fuck it, just fuck it, and you'll disconnect. Yeah. Like I don't want to deal with this shit. Fuck you. You ruined my favorite series. I'm gonna go find yeah. something else now. And the worst part is, you go fuck it. I'll go find something else. You're like, okay, I'm happy for two and years, then they, and, and then, then, then suddenly just, the mold shows up. 
I know. See, this is a fucking thing. It, this is well, the well, thing, thing is, it'll like, make you jaded. I, I used to it'll love make you Star jaded. Wars. No, I, yeah, it, do, it does. And that's what's happened to me. I feel like, I feel like, as a child, my favorite, my favorite. I honestly, I watched Star Wars so many fucking times. Star now. Wars. Like I'm not even. You no, know, but that's honestly, I watched it every day. Um, I've actually, I need to lift that out of the attic. I've got like a million of Star Wars toys. I need to get them down because Ozzy would be near enough the right age. But Mum got me them from like a carpet seal, or whatever. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The 80s. Yeah, it was like a big black, and I've got like um, I have like two Millennium Falcons, but they're in horrible condition. Like it had like the old cardboard on it, and then I had like two AT-ATs, but one of them is completely knackered, and I tried to turn it into like a bit of scenery. Yeah. Forty K yeah. at one point because I thought it'd be really cool. But even then, like, you know, honestly, I don't feel, like, I just really loved Star Wars as a child. And see now, whenever, like, even that, what was it, Andor? Was it Andor that came out? Andor, there, yeah. I didn't watch it. Yeah, I didn't bother with it Well, the, th- well, the thing I, is, I think, Andor started out bad, but it got better. Because Andor uh, dropped uh, all the politics and went, hey, here's how the Empire dudes feel about this shit. And it shows these Empire dudes, uh, like, just trying to do their best, man. And it shows them reacting to all these terrorist attacks more. Like, it was a really fun twist on the narrative. It was like, oh, yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. You know, I was kind of watching it. <clears throat> yeah, but this is the thing. Rax like, bolt pistol. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm just tired of this, and I just I really wish it to be good, but I feel like I'm so fucking demoralized. You See, know what I mean? All, I really they, do. all they gotta I, do, I, I, all they gotta do is drop all the yeah. politics, focus on 40K, and it's gonna be a win. Let Cavill yeah. do his job. If Cavill goes, hey, 40K fans and fancy fans, we are good. I made sure of it. People, <gasps> and everyone's gonna fucking watch it. All, they, all, oh, all yeah. they have to do is let Cavill do his thing. And if they do, feel like it's gonna revitalize everything. It's, people are gonna go, <gasps> oh, thank God, and they're gonna realize they can enjoy their show. It's not gonna be full of like woke danger hairs who are trying to like dick down and overshadow a spaceman or some shit. You know. I just, I, I just, you know what? I think I am gonna watch this one. Like, I didn't bother with Lord of the Rings. I didn't bother with a few of them just because I'm like, you know what? I just don't want. To I'm still mad about I'm Willow. Not <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna bother, bro. Uh, I, me and Ozzy watched I it. I fucking love Willow. Long. We thought, he, yeah, like, Ozzy really uh, enjoyed it. Sweet the other day. That was like <laughs> my <laughs> like. It. I I want to say Willow was my, my 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 first like explosion of love for fantasy, and that was like, yeah. oh cool, they ruined it because you got like modern yeah. teen vernacular in a fantasy show and they made Mad Morgan a cunt. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just like, oh my why? god. Why? And it's just like, why? and of course, it, the first the first scenes are panning over this mountain range with like these two fighters fighting. And like, okay, these guys look semi-competent and they pull up their helmets and, oh, it's strong girl bosses that are both lesbians. Motherfucker! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, see, that's the thing. It's like, you know Oh my what? god, like, Stacy, you're see, so good at sword fighting. Oh, thank you, Susan. It's like, see, oh my god. Like, like, <laughs> like, see if they want. Like, I, I've yet to see it. Like, you know, I've really, I, like, if, okay, I wouldn't be half as annoyed if the shoes were still good. It's like, like, if you want to put, like, gay people or whatever in, sure, whatever. But can you really just focus on the story being, like, well, the story should the be Well, the fact the character's and gay should anything, be a footnote. Like, oh, yeah, he fucks dudes. Yeah, oh, that, okay. Oh, oh, right, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't, yeah, whatever, you know, okay, carry on. Kind of like Dumbledore being gay. It doesn't matter, you know what I mean? It never, it's never brought up in it. Like, you know, and again, I suppose that's J.K. Lund's whole thing of, like, you're gay now, you know what I mean? It's such a meme. But again, like, you know, like, if she wants to make him gay, it doesn't matter. It's not a big, sure, whatever. Like, you know, can you just make something good? So I really I hope. Hey, like, that's that's my my views on the matter. I I I am somewhat optimistic just because of Henry Cavill. If he wasn't there, I would be like I would automatically assume dog shit. Yeah, wouldn't watch. yeah. Like literally, I the would automatically only reason I'm like, oh, I, like the only reason we're the only reason we're, that we're both like hmm, is because it's Henry Cavill. You know. If Amazon said, yeah, "Hey, we're, we're, we're doing a 40k series," if Amazon said, "Hey, we're all doing a 40k series," we'd all be like, "Oh, fuck me, no, oh, no." But that, and also, and also, the other big thing is for me, Amazon might have learned the lesson. The, I, I hope they have. did. I hope they did. I really like you know they did pour an awful lot of money, and I'm sure Jeff isn't the type of guy that likes to just fucking flush money down the toilet. You know what I mean? You don't like, become a millionaire or billionaire yeah. by wasting money. <laughs> yeah. You don't. Yeah, it's, so it's all really it's, it's, it's all investments. That's how you make your money. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he's stupid enough to keep going. I, I don't I don't see him as like an idealistic type of guy at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, but to me, Jeff, I don't think Jeff has any like little. 
I, I maybe space travel, but I think he just does it for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, That's what I'm supposed to do. I don't honestly know. Like, I can't. I can't gauge Jeff at all. I I don't get what he's into. I don't get what he's all about. Yeah. I don't get him at all. I just think he does stuff because he likes to make money. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's just what he does. <laughs> See, what, what, what we should do is if, if 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 we if we should take anything, you, me, and the viewers, is that at any time. Someone is being dogged on because A, they said, this is bullshit, y'all doing this movie wrong, and then B, they try and smear him. You know that person, mm. aka right, right now, Gaville, is correct. They call him an incel conservative, yeah. a gamer <laughs> yeah. bro. He that's hates not, women. That's, that's all you need it's know. like, oh, I see. <laughs> You're the problem. He's fine. Y'all just yeah. cunts. You know, in, in, yeah. You, you, you have to call this shit out when you see like no 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 he's fine you're just fucking stupid and fuck you you can't give them this power because if they could they would call every man or like yes, not pro left woman would. a fucking incel conservative yeah they would they really would and they've been doing it for so long and i don't know how people haven't caught on to this i feel like so many normies just haven't like well the thing is we're to... seeing the turn i mean uh yeah we are we're, we're, we're seeing actors turn uh actors. yeah we are definitely yeah. Like there's this one, uh, Rob Schneider is like, you know what? Uh, I can't. <laughs> Rob Schneider <laughs> said I can't do this shit anymore. I'm leaving. I'm going conservative. And like, I, like, like me, I went. Rob Schneider left. <gasps> it's begun. Because <laughs> first it was Joe Rogan and then uh, Chris Hemsworth and like, okay, those two, I get it. They're they're well, big. Well, what, but Rob what, went. What about, yeah, I'm uh, Oh, Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt as well. Oh, Chris and then, Pratt. Who's you? Oh, and then Buzz Lightyear. What do you call him? Ooh? Oh, Tim what Allen. Do you call him. Yeah, Tim Allen. Yeah, but I remember he he said it was like it was really it was just a bad quote or it was just a bad way of saying it. He said, uh, "Be a being a conservative in Hollywood is like being a G in Nazi Germany." It is. Like it really said. is. I, it has the exact yeah, same the Rob Schneider said. It, said. It just, you, you get hunted <laughs> like you're like a fucking yeah. We must hunt down all the conservatives and put them in caps. <laughs> it's literally yeah, like. The, yeah. They don't. They don't understand this. This far, far left. I know there are people on my yeah. channel, your channel, who are completely fucking normal. <clears throat> it's this far left echelon, and this like they don't understand. They're the baddies. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They really don't, and I don't think they ever will. Kevin, are these the baddies? When they do, well, what, what's the what's the saying? What's the what do you call the guy? Um, useful idiots. Yeah. However, he says it. Well, I can't remember. Vic, uh, Brezhnev. Yeah. Wasn't it Brezhnev? I believe. Yeah, I think it was. Anyway, anyway, like, I think that's where we're going to lap up. I'm going to cut out a little bit of that and we're going to bring it down to about 20 Coward. minutes. Coward. Post hour. it all. I think, Post it all. Yeah, I know. I, I might. You know what? It is Christmas. I fuck it. I, you know what? I'll, we'll see what happens. All right. We'll just see what happens. Uh, also, guys, by the way, we've got a ton of new models up for sale. Um, you guys have no idea. Um, I've probably spent the last maybe 60 yards flat um, slicing and getting models oh, um, and setting up the website. That reminds me of Nick or James. If, if you can get me in touch with someone who, <laughs> who like does the modeling, I want to try and do Veil Rider models because I think you're... Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. well, not just for the RPG, but... I, if I'm going to do a Kickstarter, and one of the stretch goals is going to be a war game, if that happens, I'm going to need models and shit. So I need to get in contact with someone who does oh, the models. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should do that. Also, I would say to a certain degree, make it like model agnostic to a certain extent, just because it might be a bit hard. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, you know, I, <clears throat> I know a good few people that do models. You do a guy. Uh, they're, they're <laughs> one, yeah, there's a Scottish couple they're doing. The I'll, I'll say about it now, actually. They On the topic of 40k and whatnot, they are currently working on the old Guardsman Party um, series models. Um, most of them are done, actually. So go ahead and check out Shoggy um, Twitter. He's been posting them also he has so hopefully like i'm looking forward to them honestly i think i think they're really nice um also you can't go along with models and also my guys it's christmas come on sort of say <laughs> get some models and you know what i mean you, you guys know you want to um but they're also also we do have stuff for everything so go ahead check that out uh is there anything else check out guard blues channel yeah you should, really should check out guard blues channel so like, uh do do? next like, year we're, like yeah, yeah, so, so next year we're, we're doing the, the second emily bronze book which is basically the uh like I, i'm writing a pro female lead but not in a super woke way, and people are really resonating with it. They, like they say, like it's a, it's a, yeah. like of all the two, that's their favorite. So I'm gonna write a second one of that because <clears throat> well, I thing. will I show these women how to write a female character. By God, I'll do <laughs> yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You know what? I want, a, I want, a, I want, a, I want a good female. You know, tell you what, I'll just, do I'll it do it myself. myself. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Yeah, I'll just do it myself. And you know what? That's kind of what you got to do sometimes. How how do they just not know how to do it though? This is the thing that really gets me. How do they just have 
no fucking idea of what constitutes a good story. You know what I, I mean? I don't know. I, 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 like, I don't know. know. Like, that's where that's where we're gonna leave it. What do you guys think? What do you, what would you guys want from a movie or TV show? Like, who do you want to focus on? How would you go about it? I I see this shit all the time. Everyone loves talking about the idea of 40k movies or TV shows and how they would go about it. I think there's a lot of fun. Oh, I'm gonna do an NKI. <laughs> no. And <laughs> you know? do you oh, and, and do you guys trust Cavill? Most of all, do you trust Cavill yeah, to yeah. make a good show? I, th- I, I, th- I think he's got a lot of potential. I, I, I'm happier for. I couldn't think of a better person to have on. To Me. Do, like I don't think. <laughs> well, okay, Bar. Well, okay, if Gar whoever becomes an actor, then yes, Gar <laughs> should be should be the lead to cast. Okay, but until you get into until you gotta like you know uh, what do you have to do to be an actor these days? You gotta suck a uh, certain person's cock in Hollywood so, to get a fucking role. I think yeah. yeah. If you, like, if you have to do that, Garp, then yeah, maybe you might get it, like you know. But like, anyway, walk, anyway, walk nine thousand. Guys... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. The fucking, I love the fucking Greek drink. Or is it the? No, it's not Greek drink. The grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that video was fucking cursed, man. Walk, like, walk, anyway, walk, I hope walk. you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Let us know what you think, and all that jazz. And take your fucking Bye-bye. vitamin C.